Hey, what's up everybody? Justice Good here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way that you can insert a shape or object or line or text within your image instead of just on top of it. So, as you can see here, I've used this method to put this arrow shape in between my photo and my object's feet here instead of just over it so that it looks like it's actually within the picture. So what you want to do is first find a picture that you want to wrap something within or between. And I'm going to head over to my shape layer because I want to blend a shape into here. So I'm just going to use, if you click on this round star here, you can see all the default Photoshop shapes. And I'll just use an arrow. I don't know why you'd want to put an arrow in between this, but... I'm sure you can come up with a creative use for this. But let's just say we want this arrow here for some reason. But we want it to go between this person's legs. So all we have to do is go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All, and begin painting with our brush tool here and a relatively usable and workable sized brush compared to the object we're painting in and a pretty high percentage of hardness so about 90 percent so you're gonna grab black and begin brushing away the parts that you don't want so once I get this edge here I can just grab a bigger brush and take care of this part but as you can see I went a little too far so I can always grab the white again grab a really small brush and refill in these areas till it meets right up to the point but doesn't actually overlap it so it creates the illusion that it's behind this object if you want it to get real precise you can even use the pen tool or any of the lasso tools to s draw out a selection but that is pretty much the simple effect there as you can see you can even add blending options or whatever else you want and the overall layer mask will still be working but as you can see this drop shadow kind of kills the illusion a little bit so what you can do with this effect is pretty much endless in creative possibilities this is how you see those people do those glowing line effects where they wrap a glowing energy line around it's just an illusion using layer masks so this can go as many times around as you want you just have to have the eye for it so for example if I just rasterize this whole thing here and I take my smudge tool here I'm going to turn it all the way up so I can prove a point here. Let's say I I smudge this line. Okay, it's not really working. Okay, let's say I smudge this over here. And all the way over again. That's not a very smooth line as you can tell, but let's say I want to even wrap that around. I just continue with my layer mask, oh, which is already on there. So layer your mask and again I can paint black on the areas I want to put behind my image and leave the other parts intact so it's all about just looking and of course you can do whatever you want to make this glowing let's add an outer glow so as you can see, this is how people create those glowing effects. This line looks pretty jagged here, but if you were to draw something out with the pen tool and create a cool smooth effect. So pretty much, that's how you wrap an object within your image. It's all about just using your eyes and thinking what would go in front and what would go behind. And all you need is layer masks and 
a good hand-eye coordination there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, there's always more tutorials to come. So stick around and subscribe for more. And leave me a comment on what you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.